Good morning. It's Mary Ellen. And again, we have another... I always look out there because I'm looking out the window. It is beautiful today. We have had our share of a just a beautiful, beautiful autumn. And today I want to talk about creating things. I've There's been several people that have wanted me to do a video on my approach to creativity and uh, and it's the hardest one I've ever had to film because how do you convey that? My philosophy, and it, it, there is a philosophy, I want to make something from something I already have. I don't want to go and buy anything unless it's like a stick of glue uh, to make anything. This isn't a dress anymore. It is one that I used to love. It's wool chalet. It will never go out of style, but I don't think my waist will ever get that small again. But I love the fabric. So, when I look at this, I no longer see a dress. I see a beautiful piece of fabric. Well, the sleeves aren't big enough to make a neck roll, but if they had wider sleeves, that might be a neck roll. But I do see a lot of pillows. Look at all this fabric. I mean, there is a ton of fabric in this. It's... Um, I mean, I could make all sorts of things. All I know is I love the fabric. I might cover a box with it. And speaking of covering a box, this was on an antique uh, lampshade, and the lampshade was rotten, but these beads weren't. So I kept that, and that might be a really pretty trim underneath the lip of a box. Or it might be pretty on a pillow. I'll find something for it, but you just kind of have to keep things. And I know that with a lot of people, you have a room issue, but I don't. <laughs> I tell you, if something happened to me right now, my children probably wouldn't like me because this house, I have a lot of things. I do. So just when you see something you like, don't think of it as what it is. Another thing on boxes, you'll see that behind me, there's a, I had this papered a long time ago, I think right after I moved in, it was one of the first things I did, and I knew that I needed to find something that was would never go out of style. That's why I, I picked a paisley. There's some beautiful woodwork that I wanted to bring attention to, so therefore, you can see up the side of the step, there is a border, but I didn't like the way the border looked, so I trimmed some of the border off, and I use that right here around this area. But I want to show you what I did with it. So saving the scraps, and it doesn't take, I mean, you can roll up, um, it doesn't take up much room. You know, I, I just rolled it up and I kept it. And when I did my bathroom, I had the paper. And, and this, this was just a box. This was just a plain box. And I covered it with some of that border with some of the wallpaper, and with some of the trim that I cut from the border. So I have that box. And then I took it another step. I had a big hat box. I covered a hat box, and I used the big part of the border, and again, cut that off, and I put around the lip of the box. I did have some satin ribbon, and I just tied it up, and I have it sitting in my bathroom on top of my chiffon robe. And it provides extra storage, and plus it's very pretty. And something else I did, before I forget, something else I did. I had a pair of Palazzo pants that I absolutely love the fabric. And I kept them. I folded them up and I kept them. One day I had this really wild idea to clean all the feathers in my pillows. And I took them outside, emptied all the feathers in a sheet, brought the sheet together, and pinned it and hung it from the clothesline so all the feathers and down from probably six pillows were enclosed in that. Well, it did a wonderful job. You know, like the old time people, they used to, back in the day, that's how they cleaned everything out in the sun and they beat it and yeah, so but, so I found out really quickly that putting pillows back in a new case or any case was very difficult. So I decided to make one large body pillow. And guess what? The leg of the Palazzo pants is the cover for that pillow. So didn't cost anything. That's what I like. Anyway, 
I say anyway a lot. It's just looking at things differently, looking at what you have and seeing if you can create something from what you already have. I did, it's kind of like the what's the worst thing that can happen philosophy basically is really what it is. What's the worst thing I can ha that can happen? And today I'm wearing Revlon Matte Lip Crayon in number 225. It is not cruelty free. Previous purchase and some Josie Marin lip gloss. Um, and that's what I have on my lips. I hope this turns out okay. I sound like Susie Clancy. I hope this turns out, but it is all good. So you guys have a great day, and uh, I will see you in the next video.